Hey what's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. It's taken many years, but now we can finally rank every gold skin in Paladins, now that every single character has a fully fleshed out gold skin. Being the no life that I am, I have every single gold skin in Paladins, and I recently revisited every single gold skin by playing them over on my VODs channel, which is linked in the description. So today, I'll be making my official tier list of every gold skin in Paladins by ranking them in alphabetical order on one of five different tiers. We have the D tier for the absolute worst gold skins and paladins. These skins fail to meet the criteria of a high quality gold skin entirely, and are in most need of changes to make them in line with the other gold skins. The C tier is for gold skins that are below average, but aren't terrible like the skins in D tier. These skins have a lot going wrong, but they also do some things right. B tier is where all the average gold skins go. These are skins that mostly follow the criteria for a good gold skin, but still do some things badly or just don't go above and beyond like the skins in the later tiers do. The A tier is for skins that are high quality and do a lot of things right. These are generally really good gold skins and I like them a lot. And lastly, the S tier is for the skins that truly go above and beyond, either by having exceptional designs or by adding extra details that aren't normally present on other gold skins. These skins have it all, and are the cream of the crop of the gold skins in Paladins. So, by what criteria am I ranking these gold skins? Well, for that, we can take a look at the default gold skin that sets the paradigm for what a B-tier skin should look like, Golden Victor. Golden Victor has the perfect materials and color placement for a gold skin. The gold is crisp, the perfect shade of yellow, and not too shiny nor matte. The black is sharp, matte, and appropriately placed throughout the skin. It has a bit of white to break it up, and the crystals are the right white and purple material. He has custom weapon effects, but sadly doesn't have any custom ability effects like some of the best gold skins do. This gold skin is the example for other gold skins to follow, and is a good benchmark to see which skins succeed and which skins fail. At the end of the day though, this list is still going to be pretty subjective. Skins are art, and art by its very nature is subjective. So if you disagree with my opinions in this video, that is absolutely fine. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. But with all that being said, let's get started with the first gold skin, which is Androxus. Androxus does a lot right. He has the correct gold and black materials, good color placement, and custom weapon shots. His ultimate has custom visual effects, but he notably still has green effects on every other ability including his reload. He doesn't stand out, but doesn't really do anything wrong. So Androxus starts off our tier list in the B tier. Ash's gold skin is really, really shiny. She's one of the first full suits of golden armor introduced to Paladins, and is subsequently one of the worst ones. She doesn't have enough black to break up the skin, and her gold has that sort of smudged, melted effect that a lot of bad gold skins have. That said, her ultimate looks pretty awesome, and her weapon has great custom effects. Overall, she's a pretty solid C tier skin. Atlas's gold skin makes me so frustrated. It has really good gold armor and the color placement is solid. The weapon looks okay, though its emissive textures leave much to be desired. But the worst thing about this skin is that it has totally wrong colors for his backpack's piping, his eyes, and his crystals. It's actually so frustrating to me that I went into Blender and fixed it, and it looks so much better when it's all a lovely shade of purple. Because Atlas's color scheme is just flat out wrong, but the rest of his skin is good, Atlas goes firmly into the C tier. Azan has an excellent gold skin with wonderfully detailed armor, excellent color placement, and dazzling white effects. The only thing that's really wrong with this skin are his wings, which look like they're made more out of wood than actual gold. Otherwise, this skin is incredibly gorgeous and well made, and so it goes into the A tier for me. Barrack is a really well-made skin similar to Victor, with standard color placement and the right materials used. Where this skin goes above and beyond is in its detail on the abilities. His turrets have also been retextured, but what you might not notice is that his shield also got bedazzled gold features. It's because of this excellent attention to detail that Barrack goes into the A tier on this list. Betty is a disappointing skin for me, because her hair is amazing, but the rest of it kind of sucks. The skin has an unflattering checker pattern across all of it, and the gold looks more brown than gold in some places. Her weapon lacks any special effects whatsoever, and in one place has black on black checkers instead of gold on black checkers. This skin isn't that great, and goes into the C tier. Like Ash, Bomb King's gold skin is really, really shiny. He needs more black to break up his skin, and the fire in his belly 
Valley is default orange instead of fitting the gold skin palette. His bombs are quite nice, but the rest of his skin is pretty mediocre. So, Bomb King also goes into the C tier. Buck has what is probably the most forgettable gold skin in all of Paladins. Buck's gold almost blends in with his skin, and doesn't really look much like gold in the first place. It's just really bland, and goes in the C tier for me. Caspian may be one of the worst flanks in Paladins, but there's no denying that he's got some serious style. Caspian has one of the most detailed gold skins in the game, with excellent color placement, perfect textures, and many crystals to break up the skin and make it look unique. His weapons are a crisp white beam of energy with unique purple effects on every ability. Caspian's gold skin is flawless, and so this is the first skin we'll be putting into S tier on this list. Cassie is another super solid, inoffensive gold skin. The color placement is right, the materials are solid, and she has unique but minimal effects. All in all, a very easy B tier skin. Corvus has a super lavish and detailed skin, which uniquely has two different tones that are used to complement and accentuate each other. He has a lot of black, but also has some dark brown leather that's fittingly used in some places to detail the skin. His blade is a gorgeous looking crystal, and he has other white crystals across his suit that bedazzle this skin. Corvus is another high highly detailed and gorgeous gold skin, and so he also goes in the S tier next to Caspian. Dredge's gold skin has a lot going wrong. The skin is mostly black with very little gold to be found for a supposed pirate. He's got red on his belt and bandana and green in his belly, neither of which match the gold scheme palette at all. The only good thing about this skin is the weapon, which is actually one of the best gold weapons in Paladins. His weapon shots and broadside are extremely well detailed, but sadly his portal, harpoon, and kraken aren't. So, Dredge is our first entry into the D tier on this list. Drogos has a really clean suit of armor with gorgeous black scales to bring the whole skin together, and he has an excellent looking rocket launcher but sadly lacks golden effects. The ruby around his neck doesn't fit the gold skin palette, but also doesn't look out of place unlike the red on Dredge's gold skin. This skin does a lot right, but it also could be much better if it had visual effects. So, Drogos' gold skin goes into the B tier. Eevee, my beloved, has a well-made gold skin, with excellent but not perfect color placement and the right materials used across her skin. She has a unique sparkling effect on the bottom of her cloak, and custom visual effects on all of her abilities. She would really benefit from white hair though, which not only matches her personal aesthetic more, but would also provide some nice contrast to break up the skin, as you can see in my own version of her gold skin, which I made because I got tired of waiting for Evil Mojo. Eevee's gold skin does a lot right, but sadly isn't perfect, so it falls just shy of ranking in the S tier. Fernando's gold skin is honestly just insane. Like Corvus, he has a dual tone gold effect that really works well, and he's got a lot of black to break up the skin. The crystal in his chest plate looks amazing, and he has custom effects on every ability. Fernando is the perfect example of how to do a suit of armor right, and so he gracefully dashes into the S tier. Furia is the first gold skin ever made, and it definitely shows. Furia's gold skin is mostly grey, and the gold that is used doesn't look that great. Her weapon is nice, but the skin itself leaves much to be desired. So, Furia joins Dredge down in the D tier. Grok has a really nice gold skin with excellent color placement and solid materials. His staff is pretty awesome, and his totems also get the golden treatment which really brings the skin together. His skin is still blue, which doesn't necessarily match the gold skin palette, but it still ends up looking really nice. Grok is extremely solid, and I appreciate that his abilities got recolored as well, so he goes into the A tier. Grover is a really unfortunate case, because there's not an easy way to make this skin look good. Either you make the wood gold and the leaves black like it is in game, or you make the wood black and the leaves gold. Either way, this skin looks pretty horrible, and his bark looks like it was coated in shiny gold foil. Grover's gold skin is tragically awful, and it gets chopped down into the D tier. In my opinion, Imani has a really solid gold skin. Imani is really pretty, and has excellent color placement with shiny, dazzling gold. She lacks custom effects, but this makes sense due to her unique nature as a champion who wields both fire and ice. Imani's gold skin makes sense as a really solid B-tier skin. Inara's gold skin is really amazing, and unlike Terminus, she doesn't have shiny yellow popcorn skin. Her wall and warders field have custom effects, and I love that attention to detail. So, Inara walls herself up into the A tier. Io's gold skin is absolutely dazzling. Her color placement is amazing, and her fur has the same excellent black to gold fade that I praised Betty's gold skin for. Her bow looks wicked, and the only bad thing about this skin is that Luna looks really silly. So, Io places high up in the A tier.
Genos has a really sad gold skin for what is supposed to be a divine being. His gold looks really shiny and smudged, his black is not crisp at all, and the whole skin is just boring. C tier, let's move on. Kasumi's gold skin gets worse and worse the more you look at it. Her gold chains are the right color, but that's it. The gold on her hat and dress are more yellow than gold, and for some reason the gold fades into brown depending on the lighting. Speaking of brown, a lot of her skin is brown instead of black, and it doesn't look that great. Her eyes are red instead of sticking with purple like the color palette mandates, and her spirit lures use the default doll instead of the gold one. This skin is awful, just like Kasumi, and it goes into the D tier. Just like Fernando, however, Khan has a perfect suit of golden armor that has excellent color placement and the perfect materials. He also has a bunch of custom effects on all of his abilities that help to make the skin even more special. This skin is another easy S tier and goes right next to his other golden armored bro. Kinesa's gold skin has crisp textures and solid materials, but its color placement is lacking. There's too much gold on the bottom half of the skin, and her mines are the default color. So, Kinesa falls just short of ranking into B tier. Koga's gold skin has excellent color placement, but a really bad gold material. Koga's gold is the most desaturated gold in the game, and it doesn't match his weapons at all. Sadly, Koga also falls just short of the B tier, but could so easily be put there if they would just fix his materials. Lex has extremely vibrant colors and good color placement. Sadly, his model looks like Play-Doh, but that's not really the fault of the gold skin. Lex is just another victim of the time period when Paladins was churning out characters every few weeks, and I won't fault his gold skin for that. Overall, he's pretty average, and gets placed in the low B tier. Like Kinesa, Leon has excellent materials but a bit too much gold throughout the skin. She does have a sort of dual tone gold style going on like Corvus and Fernando, and it works to make the skin a bit less monotonous. Her weapon is also really well designed with a magnificent white crystal, and so I put her into the low B tier alongside Lex. Lilith is one of the rare gold skins that has a lot of white effects, and it looks quite good for it. Her materials are a bit muted though, with gold that's dull and brown. Her weapon also lacks any sort of special effects, preventing this skin from pushing any higher than the B tier. Maeve's gold skin is just weird. She has good materials and her daggers look amazing, but she would really benefit from an inversion of her color placement. She looks like she's wearing a vibrant yellow raincoat, and it would look so much better if she had a black cloak with golden trim. Despite that, this skin is still good enough, and ranks solidly in B tier. Makoa just looks really silly, and he's a hard champion to make a good gold skin for due to his unique nature as a giant turtle. His black is too muted, and his shell looks like it's made of cheese. It's a very mid skin, and so it ranks in the C tier. Like Maeve, Maldamba could benefit from an inversion of his color placement. He's got the raincoat syndrome in full force, although his snake looks really nice. He places right next to Maeve in the B tier. I am so happy with Moji's gold skin, because it used to look so much worse. Before Moji got a proper skin and only had a golden weapon, her weapon looked absolutely abhorrent. It was pixelated, the gold looked dull, and Po Lee was blind. Her new gold skin is a total transformation, and it looks amazing. The color placement is great, the materials are crisp, and she actually has unique blue effects on her weapon. So, Moji goes right up into the high A tier. Nyx has a really clean gold skin, although it looks too shiny in some lighting. She has really nice marble skin that breaks up the gold and the black, and her effects are the same as default but are still purple and fit the color palette. It's a fun gold skin to play with, and so I place it in the A tier. Not only is Octavia's gold skin really boring, but it has quite possibly the worst golden material out of all of them. It looks completely bronze, and it doesn't even remotely resemble gold. Octavia needs a major material adjustment, and so she goes no higher than C tier. Pip is one of the biggest disappointments out of all the gold skins. His potions look incredible, his jumpsuit is solid, but his fur ruins the entire skin. He looks like the Mustard Man, or like someone dunked him in a bucket of yellow paint. Who knows, maybe Caspian ulted this skin before it came out, and it ruined it for everybody. Either way, this skin looks awful, and it joins Octavia in C tier. Now this is quite possibly the most badass gold skin in all of Paladins. Rom already has a strong start due to being a jacked abyssal demon, but Evil Mojo really knocked it out of the park when designing this skin. 
He has the addition of a halo from his limited skin, and his arm and tail are glowing with white purple energy. Rom has one of the best gold skins in Paladins, and tops off the S tier with his outstanding drip. Ray has a really well designed gold skin with an absolutely lovely design. Sadly, it lacks any form of visual effects, and also doesn't go the extra mile with its detail like a similar skin we'll go over later. So, Ray falls short of ranking in the S tier, and instead places in high A. Ruckus is an overall really solid gold skin, with nothing more to say other than it looks really great, and is another prime example of a gold skin done well. That said, nothing really stands out about it either, and so it ranks as a solid B tier skin. Sati's skin crushes me, because it's so close to being a high A tier skin, but it has a few details that hold it back. For some strange reason, her eyes are red, which hurts her in the same way that it does Kasumi. The gold on her jacket is different to the gold on her coin, which is different to the gold on her pistol, which is different to the gold on her boots. Her weapon is really sick and her color placement is top notch, but those little flaws bump her down into the B tier. Like Moldamba and Maeve before her, Ceres is in desperate need of a color inversion. Ceres also has really melted gold on her dress, and her weapon should have a black orb instead of a gold one. So, Ceres goes into the C tier. Speaking of melted gold, it's time to talk about the worst gold skin in the game, Sha Lin. This skin has the absolute ugliest gold texture in the entire game, and almost no black to be found. The gold is scuffed onto his gauntlet, and the gold on his shirt is slightly different to the gold on his pants. His headband is still red for some reason, but it shines gold instead, and just looks awful. I couldn't make a worse gold skin if I tried, and the only redeeming factor of this skin is that it's so bad that it's a meme. So, this skin goes firmly at the bottom of D tier. Sky has a really solid gold skin with excellent armor and color placement. Her hair and eyes look a bit off in my opinion, but this skin is otherwise pretty inoffensive. So, it goes straight into the B tier. Like Sky, Strix's skin is really clean. There's nothing more to say about this skin, let's put it in B and move on. Oh look, another solid clean skin with good colors. You guessed it, Talus goes into B tier too. Terminus' gold skin is really odd. Inara's gold skin has gold and black clothing, but her skin, if you can call it that, remains the standard gray rock color. Terminus, on the other hand, looks like buttered up popcorn. It honestly ruins the skin for me, and so Terminus collapses down into the C tier. Tiberius has a truly phenomenal skin that at face value would easily place into S tier. It's got perfect color placement, amazing purple effects, and awesome snow tiger fur that provides excellent contrast and makes the skin truly stand out. However, the devil lies in the details, and you'll notice that when you throw Tiberius's chakrams and sword, they convert from the gold version into the default skin. I have to penalize this skin for such an awful oversight, and so this skin falls down down from the S tier into the A tier. Torvald has the same melted gold problem that Shaolin does. His gauntlet looks amazing, and he has a little bit more black than Shaolin, but he still looks pretty awful. So sadly, I have to put Torvald down in the D tier too. Tyra's another really consistent and clean gold skin with nothing noteworthy to talk about. So, into the B tier it goes. Seven has the opposite problem that Koga has. His gold skin is far too saturated. His gold is oversaturated to the point of almost looking orange, and it really takes away from what is otherwise a really well detailed and cool looking skin. So, Seven goes right next to Koga in the C tier. And finally, we get to my favorite gold skin in Paladins, Vatu. Vatu's gold skin is very similar to Ray's, but it goes the extra mile with a unique custom pattern on his clothing that's consistent with all his other base recolors. The color placement is divine, and his kunai have a deep purple effect that looks amazing. The only bad thing about this skin are that his other abilities aren't recolored, but that isn't enough to stop me from placing this skin at the top of S tier for how amazing it looks. Vivian is just the bootleg Victor, both in terms of her gameplay and in how her gold skin looks. Like we discussed at the start, Victor is the paradigm of what a B tier skin is, so Vivian joins him down in the B tier. 
Next up we have Vora, who has my favorite default skin in all of Paladins. Her gold skin really complements her gorgeous and unique design, with excellent color placement and really cool purple weapon effects. Sadly, her tendril and other abilities remain red, and this keeps her from placing an S tier. So Vora goes into the high A tier. Like Pip, Willow is an extreme disappointment. Her splash art looks really cool, with crisp black and gold textures, but in game her skin is just brown. It doesn't look sharp at all, and the only redeeming quality of this skin is her weapon. She doesn't even have custom seedlings, which really hurts this skin even more. So Willow drops below Pip into the D tier. Yagaroth has one of the coolest designs for base gold skin that I've seen, with glowing white claws, teeth, and tail that look ferocious and awesome. Sadly though, this skin still has default green acid, which is especially egregious for Yagaroth given how prevalent her visual effects are. So Yagaroth sadly can't place any higher than B tier. Like her boyfriend Sha, Ying's gold skin is mostly yellow and is way too shiny. However, it doesn't look nearly as melted and bad as Sha Lin's, which saves her from a D tier ranking. Her gold color is just off though, so she goes into C tier alongside Koga and Seven. And lastly, we get to Zin, whose gold skin just looks broken. The color placement is amazing, but the colors themselves look really weird. The gold almost turns pink under some lighting, and the black sometimes looks green. His ponytail is also far oilier than the rest of his hair, and it looks like he has a big fish flopping on the back of his head. So Zin sadly ranks in the C tier for having really bad materials. And with that final ranking out of the way, that's going to do it for my official gold skins tier list now that all the gold skins are in the game. Let me know what you think about my list in the comments section down below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe while you're down there. Check out my Twitch channel, Discord server, and VODs channel linked in the description, and support me by making your next crystal purchase over at my Nexus store also linked in the description. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, I will see you all next time, peace out. Hey.